Preparing is really important. Here you can see all the tools what you need for this long hair design. Hello! Now I'm going to show you one up to which sounds much more difficult than it is. On rectangle base on the front, I'm going to create kind of hat using uh, overlapping techniques. And then on behind, I have already put three ponytails, one on the triangle shape, and then one higher and one lower. And here I'm going to use a braiding techniques with a three strand. Let's start with this really elegant hat. I'm going to take a diagonal section and I make a choice up and down. And then the last one goes through and I fix it temporary with the one clips. Let's take again parallel with that one, the same diameter. I start to do weaving up and down, up and down. Alternation. Again, the last one, it's going to come forward and I clip it. I'm going to get the same diagonal section, the same size. I keep the hair 90 degrees so I can see which one is which one. Up and down, alternation. Up and down, alternation. With the tail comb. Here we are. Now I'm going to get the last one and I distribute it to the forward. I fix it temporary and go on the same way. 90 degrees from the head form and a little bit shiny spray so it's more easily to see and work with. You can incline it the head forward and up and down, up and down, just alternation, all sections. And the last one goes to the forward. Let's go on in the same way. Alternation. Up and down, up and down. You have to follow really carefully the section that there is going to be an alternation. All the hair comes on the same place under the one clips. These are the last one. Now there is no more hairlines here. Anyway, I started from the last one, which have to go under and above. Let's make the glasses so we can see it more clearly. It's really important to be perfect and carefully. We go on forward. Now with the tail comb, I'm going to control and start to alternate. Last one goes under that one, above that one and under. Alternation. Keep the working area nice and clean, under, above. And now we have only one section left. Now it's better to clean a little bit so we know which one is which one. You can't make an, a, a mistake Otherwise, you can see it straight away and you can't go on. The last one goes above, under, and so on, all the way over the top. Under, 
a bow. And then when you have finished, you leave only one section at a time and repeat. Be careful. Sometimes you can't see easily if they change the places, but you find out if you have done that mistake. So just turn back and see which one is which one. Under that one and above that one. And then only one section stays there to wait for. Keep it white. If it's too tight, you miss. It's important to follow the system up and down, up and down. Sometimes you can use a shiny spray to keep the sections more nice and clean. Only one at a time stays there. This time we had a rectangle shape on the front. You can change it, you can start it on the other angle so you can see how creative techniques overlapping can be. Keep it white, under, above, under, above. Just the same system all the way through. Always one section under the clips. Control, follow, and try to work and do your best. A little bit shiny spray, preparing for the section, so it's more easy to follow. This is really, really creative way to make an overlapping. One by one. If you make a mistake, just turn back and find out who is who. Up and down. Up and down. Okay, we got it. And then only one stays under the clips. As long as we have the hair length, you can create this hat done by overlapping techniques. system sounds really easy, up and down, up and down, but when we see the final effect, you understand how simple it is. Just up and down. Now I have finished my first step and I close it, fix it with the rubber band. Small rubber band, because the section is really, really small. So let's see what we have before I go on my second step to the back of the head. Here we can see, and now we can put the hairspray, use the flatten, flattering iron. So we can see much, much, much more clean, nice finishing for this overlapping. Flattering iron with the hairspray can give a last final effect for this hat. So far, I'm going to leave it 
And now it's time to concentrate for the back of the head. And we finish later. Let's start to do braiding with the three strand. I repeat the same techniques one, two and three times. These ponytails are on the diagonal right line. First I have to cover the rubber band. Then I take a small section. I divide it on three. I start to work on horizontally braiding with a three strand. Then I apply a small section. I work on horizontally so the distance from the ponytail comes all the times longer. Finally, this nice work have only two technical step. First one overlapping and then three ponytails I repeat braiding with a three strand three times. Use a U-pin to protect the hair so it's more easily to see what you're doing. Now I'm going to work on vertical line. So we get a kind of a curve, part of heart, half part. Nice curvilinear. And then it's so, so nice and creative to think about how to position all these three curve braiding with the three strand. As long as we have hair, on our ponytail, I go on to finish this effect and nice interesting texture. Now I have to fix it really tight with rubber band from the end. Let's see what happens. Here we are. Nice texture. Let's put a little bit shiny spray. We can use a little bit flattering iron. It depends for effect you want to create. Maybe you want to apply a hairspray. It's up to you. Let's leave it a while and I have to repeat the other two ponytails on the same way. So, small section on the top. I already covered the rubber band so we can see that one. I divide it on three sections. I start to do braiding with a three strand. I apply a new small section always from the ponytail. I work on horizontally and about after 10 cm distance from the ponytail I fix it temporarily with a U-pin and I go on to work on vertical line. Shiny spray, hairspray, everything is okay as long as you apply every time one new strand. U pins help you to change the direction. Now I go on vert vertical line. The same thing I apply, small section, so we get an equal repetition on our texture. This is nice techniques with the braiding and three strand. This is the longest video what I have done, but I think it was really necessary to see it in the beginning. And then you can start to create your own designs with these two really, really high level, technically high level technical things. 
and create an artistical, elegant, beautiful effect for your updos. Let's close it with the rubber band. And let's see the result. Now I have done two same kind of braiding techniques for two ponytails. I put a little bit hairspray as well, so it comes a little bit more clean. And we can see the texture and directions more easily. If there is a layers, just clean it out with a flattering iron. Now I let it be a while and we can see that its place is coming on the higher place. Last one is the ponytail on the left side and that's the highest place where I'm going to apply braiding with the three strand. This can be the technique for the wedding look, for the little girl. As long as you have the material length on your hair. I follow the horizontal direction. Then I put my U-pins after 10 cm distance from the ponytail. And I turn my direction on vertically. Now I work on vertically downward. Step number two is really nearly ready. Shiny, nice. I apply the new sections as long as we have it. Use a shiny product, oily product, whatever helps you to keep it clean. On this effect, it's better to use uh, straight hair. If it's wavy or if it's uh, frizzy, it doesn't look the same. On that elegant, nice look, I prefer shiny, straight hair. Now is the moment to close it with a small rubber band, transparent color or the blonde rubber bands, as long as they don't disturb me later on. Let's see, on the diagonal line we have a three different level but the same techniques braiding with a three strand so it's up to you how you want to make a position for these sections let's finish that one too with the hairspray and with the flattering iron thank you Just a little touch, so it's much more clean. Let's see from the back. So far we have this situation. So let's start to fix it. Better the fix step number two first. Remember that they are on the diagonal line, so keep it there. Otherwise, you should make the ponytails on different position. U pins, it's fine on the higher part, but then all the lengths fix it with the hair pins under the ponytail. U pins are all right as long as you have to fix the light part. So 
hair pins always for the really heavy sections and U pins an opposite direction like a hair goes under this section clean it with the tail comb and make it sure that it stays on that place okay let's fix the second one a little bit higher and above keep in mind the form direction and the texture if you want you can just leave some ends free like an ornamentation or cover it under up to you that's creativity to know how to use different techniques and then you can create your own style own long hair design on second step we have three times the same techniques the last one that's the highest place so let's put it higher so for sure we can keep the diagonal effect You can leave the free ends all over or just pick up one of those and decide where to leave the free ends, like an ornamentation. Oh yes! Form, texture and direction, all these things have to be perfect. Now it's time to finish step number one and these ends. I'm going to create one pin curls and I make it bigger with my index finger and thumbs. So I have a different diameters, small, medium and big. Then I turn all the other for the smaller pin curls and I fix it. Look at the color effect. It's really nice, interesting detail. Up and down, up and down and fix it with the U pins. Try to put on the place where you can see the rubber band. So there it stays for sure. Hairspray to fix and control all the movement, all the directions. Like I told you before, it looks much more difficult, but remember, it was just overlapping and braiding. You just have to follow the system and for sure you can get it. Let's see the ornamentation. It's better to put one, three or five, not two, four or six ornamentation. The hair itself is just like an ornamentation, so there is a place for the simple, elegant, light ornaments. Color have to be the same, fits for the color of the client and all the other makeup and earrings. So take care of the all important details. Preparing, well, it's just half done. Here is an amazing material to start to work with and I wish you a really nice moment with the long hair. Thank you. <laughs>